Next question goes to Ms. Pugh. Some community leaders have called for City Schools CEO Gregory Thornton to be replaced. And legislation is advancing in Annapolis to add some elected members to the school board. You have confidence in the leadership of the school system. And what should be the relationship between City Hall and North Avenue? Well, I think in our answer, <coughs> the answer to the Baltimore Sun <coughs> that I don't have confidence in the current school leadership. And other legislation that's moving forth in Annapolis is taking back control. And what most folks don't understand is that it's not about control of the money because we are under a formula. But it means that the buck stops at the mayor's desk, that we set the direction. The mayor sets the direction in terms of how the city moves forward. And so I want to be able to talk with the CEO of the school system, to interact with the school board. I believe in a partially elected school board because I believe that the school board ought to be representative of the population of our city. We ought to have someone from the disability community also sitting on the school board. So we want the school board to represent the city. But more importantly, we, we want in our school system, not just Judy centers, but programs that teach our children and prepare them for careers as well as college. We also want to have year-round opportunities for our young people to work. Those are the kinds of things that I'm going to be working with and moving forward as the next mayor of Baltimore. Ms. Pugh, thank you. Mr. Stokes? Yes, Vic. The Baltimore City public school systems are trying to operate with one hand, if not both hands, tied behind their back. I mentioned earlier that this city, this city gives 11 to 13 percent of its budget to schools. The next lowest is 52 percent up the street at Baltimore County. It's absolutely atrocious what we've done for our children. And, and saying to the school system that they can do a better job with too few dollars is just a lie. It's blatant, obvious, and we know. Let me just say this. It is up to the mayor of the city to run the city schools, to be responsible and accountable to the children of this city. And the mayors of this city have said it belongs to the state for too long. It's a lie. The mayor appoints the people to serve on the school board. The governor has never turned down a single appointment from a mayor to the school board. This mayor must take charge of the schools. We must double, if not triple, the amount of money that we give to the schools in this city. And we can do that inside the current budget that we have. And I will do that as the mayor. And I will turn around the 89% fourth grade non-proficiency in math and reading within the first three years I am mayor of this city. So we go to 90% proficiency for math and reading for fourth graders. Our children come to kindergarten as best as any students in the state. Thank you, Mr. Stokes. Mr. Warnock. I'd love to take back responsibility for the schools from the state, but I will take responsibility for academic outcomes for our children regardless. We have a public school system in Baltimore that can't even count the number of kids. How can we say that every kid counts when we can't count the number of kids? And when Gregory Thornton came to North Avenue a year and a half or two years ago, he found $3.6 million worth of annual expenses in spouses that weren't spouses on the health care plan, in ghost employees, it was in the Baltimore Sun. And we haven't done an audit of our municipal functions in Baltimore City since William Donald Shaper was mayor. Yes, I will take responsibility for the public schools, just like I co-founded Green Street Academy. We have to engage our parents in the education of their kids. Two years ago, I published an op-ed in The Sun advocating a partially elected <coughs> school board. We need to make our families tied, understanding, and connected to the institution in our city that matters the most to them, and that's the one that educates their kids. We'll do that in my administration. Mr. Warnock, thank you. Ms. Dixon. Thank you. Our schools are the core and the center of our communities. I will hire and fire the CEO of Baltimore City Public School. I will also have control over the school board. I do support a partial elected school board so that we can make sure that the community is involved and engaged. 
Dr. Alonzo, when he was a part of my administration, was part of my cabinet. And we were very intricately involved in what happened in the schools. That's why we extended community schools all throughout the city. And in my plan for schools, I'm going to double the number of community schools because that's going to help our families and our kids to have the kind of education. Our school day needs to be longer. You know, our kids need to be there longer. Parents need to be able and grandparents need to be able to take advantage of all the, the skills of activities in, in the schools with um, art, um, cultural activities, physical ed, et cetera. But the key is that we need some consistency. And that's part of the huge issue with the schools. We need to stop teaching for tests and get back to some basic fundamental things, writing, reading, and arithmetic. We need to work with our young people from the time that they enter school in pre-kindergarten and extend those pre-kindergarten to all day pre-kindergarten as well as kindergarten and elementary. But we need to really take control back of our schools now that the formula is in place. And then last but not least, we need to focus on our budget, not 40% going to the police department, but we need to focus it on education and provide our kids and families with the, the equal education as, ever, as other counties. Thank you very much. Ms. Embry. Thank you. So I'm running for mayor in no small part because I want every student in this city to have the kind of quality public school education that I was lucky enough to have. And I agree with Councilman Stokes. The mayor has a lot of power now. We just haven't had mayors who have been willing to exercise it. And in an ideal world, I agree. I would like the mayor to have direct control over the school system, but I'm not going to wait for a legislative fix. I'm going to take operational responsibility on day one in partnership with our school CEO and school board. And partnership means accountability. It means holding our system accountable, auditing our systems, counting our students correctly, making sure that our IT and payroll are operating as efficiently as possible and possibly combining them with the work of City Hall. But it's also about three things. It's about principals. The best intervention you can make in a school is to recruit or keep a terrific principal. A great principal brings great teachers, keeps great teachers. A great principal brings other resources. And our turnover right now could not be higher. And it's costing us money and it's hurting our children. And a mayor can be a leadership and an advocate for the importance of education, be a champion of education, and make it attractive to come and work in, this city, in our city school system. It's also about promotion. We have not enough, but we have tremendous schools in our city that are overlooked and under um, and underutilized. And we need to sell them because we're in competition with private schools, with county schools. And we need to sell our schools like we would sell any other terrific resource. And the final thing is partnerships. And I'm a huge fan of the community school model, which puts people on site to focus just on leveraging other resources and fo focusing on all the things that keep a kid from learning outside of the classroom, all the areas where a mayor can have a leadership role. Thank you, Ms. Embry. Mr. Mosby. I'm the only person on this stage that has attended failing Baltimore City public schools. When I was eight years old and Ms. Dixon was a uh, city council person, I was in a, a school that was failing me. When I graduated to middle school, I was in another school that failed me. Failed me so bad that Ms. Dixon's CEO shut it down as soon as he came to Baltimore. This problem has been going on for decades. Yes, we have ideas and plans on this stage, but the question to Baltimore is where have those ideas and plans been at for the past 30 years? We need a mayor that's going to take accountability to the school system on day one. And as the mayor, I will do that. I won't play semantics like uh, Ms. Pugh about ownership. It's not about ownership. It's about accountability to Baltimore City children. And as she sat in Annapolis and brought funding back to Baltimore, as we've seen it go down in the pits and we've seen it lost and we've seen it spent ineffectively, that is a problem. As the next mayor of Baltimore, we will have someone in City Hall that will be accountable to our young folks 24 hours a day. I will set up a mayor's office of educational reform where we will be looking at the stats. We will understand and know how many teachers are on the books. We will understand and know where the deficiencies are. We will no longer have to open up the Baltimore Sun to see that we've lost $8 million or that we're starting schools with 99 teachers short or that we just hired three principals a week before school started. It starts today and it starts with this election. That's why this election is so important. It's not about the failed policies of the past and the fake promises of tomorrow. Mr. Mosby, thank you very much.